Okay guys, today we are here at Aldi. Um, there's actually an Aldi really close to my house and I've never really checked it out to see what sort of stuff they have that would be good for the keto diet. So I got my mom with me who's behind the camera and we are gonna go in and we are each gonna pick out our top five favorite keto finds. So let's go in and see what they got. With an asterisk, shouldn't have to have an asterisk if it's natural. Check out this Parmesan garlic wing sauce. I don't know if I like Parmesan and garlic. I, know. I mean, that's great. It'd be good like on a bunless burger or... Oh good. God, mom, no. All right guys, so I've been all around the store and I've picked out like the five things that I would buy from here. There's a bunch of actually good keto options such as avocado, tons of other meats and things like that, but like these are the five things that I would probably buy from here. Number one, when I first came in, I was assaulted with nuts and I'm okay with that. Assaulted, you get it? Salt. I didn't even do that on purpose. Okay. But the first thing I see here, which I really like, are these oven roasted almonds. Um, because most roasted almonds, for instance, even these roasted almonds, they're roasted with canola oil, and so if we don't have to add any of those bad oils, if we don't have to, then that's best case scenario. And then I ran into these oven roasted almonds, which the only ingredients are almonds and sea salt. So I think it's really cool that they have non-oil roasted almonds. So, and they're for $4.89 for 14 ounces. So I'm picking these up. Okay guys, now I don't know what they thought they were doing, but my number two item that I would purchase from here Still nuts, but they're macadamia nuts. Why are the macadamia nuts in the baking aisle when all the other nuts are front? Macadamias are my favorite nuts and they hiding them over here in the baking section. Y'all thought y'all was slick, not today. So these macadamia nuts for 10 ounces are $8.49. I mean, to be honest, macadamia nuts are expensive and that's just, that's just what it's gonna be like. Uh, but all that's in here is macadamias and salt and like these are going in the bag as well Another thing I was really surprised to find making this my number three is unrefined coconut oil in a glass jar so So as far as I know you want to get your coconut oil unrefined cold pressed in glass instead of plastic and I mean this is organic and this is $4.49, don't get me wrong, you could probably pick this up at like a Sam's or a Costco and like four times as much for, you know, just twice the price. But for someone like me who doesn't really use coconut oil a lot, for it to be in the glass, um, I think this is a good deal, but I already have tons of coconut oil at home, so I'm putting this back. And also, not in my list, but still, ghee. Like, what? Y'all better have ghee at Aldi, but like, I just use butter. I used to use ghee, but like, I just like butter better, so I'm going with that. Trying to figure out if I would put this in my list. I still got two left, but like, I was very surprised to find almond flour here. And this is, and you see here, it says keto friendly, which I'm like, okay, technically yes, but. Uh, so for 16 ounces, it's $5.99. And that's not bad at all to only have ingredients, almond flour. You know what, I actually do need almond flour and I went to Sam's and they didn't have any. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. Almond flour is also not something that I use very often, but when I need it, I wanna have it. And this is a pretty good price. So I'm gonna pick this up, something. Okay, so I, I guess, but I'm not adding it to the list though. Wait a minute, it's a technicality. Another thing I was very surprised to find is this crunchy peanut butter spread. I don't like when things have an extra word added at the end, like ice cream dessert. Like, no, no, it should just be ice cream. So peanut butter spread kind of makes me feel a little icky, but it has flax seeds and whole chia, and this does not have like any sweeteners or anything. So dry roasted peanuts, flax seed, chia seeds, does have palm oil and salt, but overall, 
this is pretty legit. It's just like white meat. It does not look appetizing I mean, at all. Nothing about this. Only thing that will make this look appetizing. No, yeah. like if you couldn't see it, exactly. Yeah, if you couldn't see it. It was no. invisible. No, but look at that one right there. Pick that one up. Like, that's legit disgusting. I mean, Ew. no, 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 no. No. Un no. Uncured. No. Undesirable. Un exactly. Un everything. Un appetizing. Un no. Unbelievable. Exactly. Ew. Yucky. Okay, guys. Number four. I'm finally getting back to one. It's just going to be this heavy cream. Like, at this point, this is all about value. When you're looking at heavy cream, you want to check the carb counts and everything like that because generally, the cheaper and or lower quality your dairy, the more carbs they sneak in there. But this has zero carbs on the label. Now, for every tablespoon of heavy cream that I use, I count a quarter carb, just because we all know that it's not completely carb free. But for this to be a dollar and 55 cents, this is a great value and it's my number four. Okay, something else I wanted to point out, um, just for regular dozen eggs for 69 cents, that is not bad. Like, I'm an egg snob, so, I personally buy like free range, blah de blah, cage free, etc. So I'm not picking these up, but if, if I'm on a budget, like great. Okay, so my last item, which it's really just more of a section, but I was very pleased with their selection of meats. They got chicken, pork, beef, just a lot of good quality meat at a really good price. They also even have grass-fed and organic options, and like I was really surprised. So what I'm gonna do, I'm doing something I've never done, and I'm gonna try a chuck roast, and this is 2.15 pounds for $8. So Black Angus USDA Choice Chuck Roast. This is going in my slow cooker. And so I'm just gonna say that my number five is just meats. Get you some meats here. But I'm gonna go with this one. Now, swing it over to my mom. Hey, I'm over in the dairy section and number one for me is almond milk. Almond milk. And that's the vanilla flavor. 30 calories, but we're talking about carbs here and it's only two carbs per serving, which is a cup. That's pretty good. And the price, $1.69, I think it's pretty good. And this would be a good for a snack like I take to work. This is Snack Sticks Turkey Sausage. And it's only, what is it? Less than one total carb for, per stick. And that's only one stick. Okay. I mean, have three in a serving and less than three carbs, so. Is this your number two? Number two, yes! Mm -hmm. Number two, Snack Sticks Turkey. You guys, the bakery section, the croissants, and the cinnamon rolls. Somebody help me. Why? No. Why? Is that a chocolate? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, everyone, pour some out for the chocolate cupcakes. Number three. Oh, number okay, three. salsa. Yes. Okay, good. Number three, salsa. Like I said, Autumn loves the hot stuff, but I'm a mild kind of girl. Well, so, like I said, this is great. It's only two carbs now one of those is fiber so it's only one net carb per serving so and what's the serving bad. like 30 in, grams in the serving in, in the serving size is 31 grams. oh my god that extra gram makes all the difference yes. yes okay unlike my daughter i am not an egg snob if it's cheap i'm gonna get it this price on these things what what no so hey i'm not an egg snob if it's an egg an egg, egg is an egg is an egg. And these are eggs. Yeah. So, number four. Egg. I'm getting them. Hey guys, number five. Number five. I mean, I'm saucing it up, it seems like, on this thing. So, You're super it, saucy. I know, I'm saucy. But this Parmesan garlic wing sauce? I mean, what? I mean, look at the. the Do you eat wings, though? Of, I eat wing sauce. <laughs> but again, this stuff can go on whatever. So, I recommend the Parmesan wing sauce. Oh my gosh. Okay, are we getting that? Oh, yeah. I'm, Hey, I'm winging it. <laughs> yeah, so. She's literally the worst. I'm winging it. That's where I get it from, everybody. There to the go. checkout. Whoops. Overall, what did you think? I mean, that 
were some pretty good deals. There were some pretty good deals in there. See, my only thing about a place like Aldi is that I know that it doesn't have everything that I would need, right. so it's just like one more trip that I'd have to make. Yeah, I get In addition that. to going to Meyer, sometimes we go to yeah. Sam's, then I'd have to come to Aldi, so I'm just like, it just really depends. I have to be in a mood. Mood, right, exactly, yeah. because it could take up a lot, lot of time. Yeah. If you're to go to different places, but I mean, not bad. It really wasn't bad from some like a little specialty stuff. Yeah, you know, it was, right. yeah. Overall though, I was very pleased. The selection was better than, you know, I anticipated. No, they actually no, had a lot of good, specifically keto exactly. items. Exactly, I know, yeah. yes, they I wasn't did. expecting that at all. Yes, I think, you know, Aldi's is getting hip to it. So I know, everyone is, but like, it's still good to see even stores like Aldi, like, you know, those discount stores are still providing high quality stuff yeah yes they are so i mean i recommend hey go shop at aldi's and you know hope you can no, make some good finds. aldi i know i know i'm sorry aldi what is it with people putting s's on say kroger's i know i can't help like that. no it's it's not just you but like no aldi mm -hmm. and they do i mean they have more than one aldi making it go shop aldi's, at multiple, multiple aldi's, multiple aldi's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly okay well thanks so much for coming Thank along you. with us and seeing our top five what are some of your favorite products from aldi have you ever been is there one near you mm -hmm. what should we get the next time we come back yeah, let, let us, us know, know in the comments all right bye no all the O's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that All the was genius. I'm not even gonna lie. I hate you. That was amazing. I mean, stop it. No, that was great. Come on. Okay, guys, like, thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, right. hold on. What store should we try next? Yes. Let us know. Yes, what can we do? All the O's. No, stop. <laughs> that is amazing. That's literally amazing.